All right, so let's do the 57. I actually want you to do this one by yourself. So um, I'm going to explain how I approach this problem. So I'm not going to go through the detail because detail is pretty much the same as the previous problem. Um, uh, video number 56. So the, um, let me just try to show you what's going on here. So you actually have the beakers, right? You actually have the beakers here. And then that, that you have a whole bunch of HA is floating around, right? And then you're dumping it in OH minus, quite a bit of them, right? Just OH minus, just going in. And as you turn in, uh, as you dump in the OH minus, HA is going to convert A minus, right? And you repeat the same process all the way up to the equilibrium point where the, the number of mole of OH minus is exactly equal to this one. So from here to here, you calculate using the buffer equations. So buffer, this is a buffer solution. And you use Henderson Hasselbach equation to do so. And at the very beginning, like here, you have a pure weak acid solution. So use rice, rice table. Right? And then at this equilibrium point, or very uh, this region right here, you might actually want to use a pure weak base, that's a conjugate, right? Conjugate weak base solution. So once again, you're going to need a rice here. And anything past the um, equilibrium, so it goes like light from this point on to all the way. Those are pure strong base solution. Now, for this particular case, be careful with volume, concentration and volume, concentration of base and volume. Okay, so. Let's try to figure out where this equilibrium point could be. So, calculating the number of acid in the beaker is going to be the key. So, number of millimole, number of millimole, oops, that want to be the 20. number of millimole of acid you gotta calculate this one the concentration is 0 0.182 molar and then 32.44 milliliter right so number of millimole is actually multiplication of these guys, right? Volume times concentrations. That's the number of minimum. And for the NaOH, concentration is 0. Point OH or the OH minus, the concentration is given by, it's nearly the same, that's confusing, but anyway, so how many milliliter of NaOH is required to get to the equilibrium point, which is the number of minimal of HA is exactly the same as number of minimal of the OH minus. So that one right there is 
sample of minimal divided by concentration. It's going to give you the exact milliliters. So the very first solution before addition, that's this point, right? So you know how to calculate that using the rice table. And then that one right there looks like F would better be used another weak base solution. So use the rice table for that one. And then in between, like 15.55 or the 20 or 24 or 27, all of those are buffer solutions. So you're going to use henderson hasselbach equation for that. And then there's a, a G right here, the 33.12 mill, uh, milliliters. That's past it, right? So you got to figure out excess OH coming from the NaOH. You're going to ignore anything that's inside of here because that's going to produce very small amount of OH minus. We don't care about that. We care about that the OH that's coming in excess amount past the equilibrium point. And then once you calculate the minimal and the total volume, you can get the concentration of OH minus. Then you can actually get the POH and then you can get the pH. And that's pretty much how you calculate everything. So good luck. This is going to be your homework.